I'm going to show you how to do a uh, basic liquid simulation in Maya. So here we see I have a scene um, of a pool with four holes in it. Do that, and I have a ground plane, and I have this here box inside of the pool with the holes. So what I need to do here is I need to select this is going to be my water. So I select it. And I go into Big Frost and I hit liquid. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I have enable scratch caching on doing that. So I'm going to hit apply a close. And then I go back in here I go uh, Big Frost fluids and choose liquid. And as soon as I do that, it changed into these pixels. So what I'm going to do here is hide my water so you guys can see those. Um, here now you can see all those pixels here doing that or particles doing that uh, so if I hit play now uh, what's going to happen with these these are just going to fall straight through it doesn't collide with anything so I hit play so now it's falling down so if I play back up again doing that so I select my bounded box or select the bit frost liquid here and select my pool and I'm also going to select my ground plane, so I want the water hit the ground plane as well. It does not matter what order you select them. So I like the ground, and I go to bit frost, and then in here, I would select collider. So now when I do that, and I hit play, water will come out of the um, hole, and it will collide with the ground. So I hit play. And you can see now it's coming out now. Do that. So let's make it easier to see the uh, part particles. So I'm going to stop it. And in here, this brick brick frost liquid properties. I just double click that. Whoops. Sorry, I lied. I meant to click this one here. Let me stop the simulation. Rewind it, and I'll click it. There we go. And then in here, liquid shape. I want to click this. And right here, I'm just going to make this uh, 20. Uh, it's be a little easier to see. Well, you can change it smaller too, you want 10 like that. Now you can see see it better. So, so now I hit play. It comes out here. So, but you can see also uh, what's happening here is that the resolution is not quite there yet. Um, so I'm going to also put in a physical light uh, sky when I so when I render. Um, I can actually um, looks like a liquid. So now that is selected, and then I go to Arnold and render. You can see it here, but you can see that um, it's not quite good resolution. It's like a little, um, yeah, it should be tighter to that. So to fix that problem, it's basically the, uh, the voxel size. So now in here, I click this. And it says voxel size. So if I change this to uh, 2.50, half of that, and rewind. But you can see that my back playback speed is um, much slower. So now I'm going to stop that and I also make my facial sky a little bit brighter. Uh, choose 2. And then, oh, sorry, I meant the wrong one. To bring this back to one uh, and then hit render so now you can see it's actually just looking more like water coming out there but for um, testing purposes it's always nice to have a little slow, uh, lower quality for testing purposes doing that so I'm gonna hit rewind and uh, just for fun uh, I'm going to um, Change this to 1.25. I'm just going to look more real. So I hit play. Much slower. And it, and it is common. I mean, any kind of a liquid simulation, it, it will take some um, <laughs> long time to simulate. Just let it hit the ground here. There we go. <clears throat> you can also see that um, this is more white doing that 
And it just basically gives you indication which one is going to have fast the speed of it through that. And you can see this blue is not really moving during that. So if I hit render now, uh, it's going to look more um, realistic water. Uh, depending on how you want this scene to look like. And also the rendering time will be much longer as well. So now you can start seeing the um, it's taking shape of the water and physics, how it behaves like that. All right, the last thing I want to show you is um, how to drop an object or think and make a little splatter doing that. Uh, so I'm gonna hit rewind and I'm going to change this number back to uh, point, I'll make it 300. And let's select this object here. Doing that. So base little object here. Falling down here. I'm make it a little lower here so it takes so long. So I have this object here and I'm gonna make a splat into the water. Doing that so like dive say we doing that. So select your object and then you want to select the um, the liquid simulation and you want to go into Bitfrost. And you want to make sure you select emitter. So when you select become emitter, it becomes a part of that water. So I select that. And I'm going to hide the uh, object from Control H. And it, it doesn't look like an object, but if I hit play, it's going to make a little splatter now. Oops, I uh, need to hide this too. There we go. <laughs> Looks like it landed on, on the hard surface, kind of funny. So I play. You can see now it's making a little splatter sound there coming out. So I'm going to hit rewind. And I'm going to turn up the resolution here. And I'm going to make this to 0.125. And you can see when I do that, it takes more defined position of the object doing that. So, so I'm going to turn my film gate and I'm going to hit here now and I'm going to hit play and uh, I'm going to speed this up so it's going to take a little while it's falling down. So I'm going to hit play. All right, so stop it. It's not not quite interesting, you know. If I had a higher up and make a bigger splat, splat, but you can see um, it is interacting with the water and doing that. There we go. So now you can see the uh, interaction of the object hit the water there, doing that, and this is looking more water-like. And if you make it even more realistic, you can change it to 06 doing that. But once again, your render time is going to take longer and also your simulation would take longer so you might even do a simulation might take three to six hours or something like that um do that so but anyways this is how you do a basic uh, water simulation thank you and take care bye bye